This episode is sponsored by Govi. Stick around to see how we transformed Lindsay's small courtyard using Govi outdoor lights. The house is located on a rural estate about 25 minutes away from Brasilia, Brazil. It's located on the hillside facing the views to the horizon and the beautiful Cerrado landscape that's very traditional of these central regions of Brazil. Our main influences and inspirations for this design were the traditional Brazilian farmhouses from the colonial period. We chose to keep it white while adding color to the roofing structures, doors and windows. This is done very traditionally in Brazilian countryside homes and traditional farmhouses that featured large windows, large porches, and featured the main social areas as one of the key aspects of the design. My name is Mateus Carvalho, and I'm the founder of the Coplanar Studio of Architecture located in Brasilia. The owners of the house are a middle-aged couple that wanted a retreat away from the city where they could do some gardening and host small family events with their grandchildren. The house was built in the late 1990s, but it was rather dark and disconnected from the outside world. We wanted to open the house as much as possible in order to bring in more natural lighting and airflow so we pushed the wall of the second bedroom, creating two equally sized bedrooms. On the other side of the house, we created a social core connecting kitchen, living room, and the porch. At the back, we created small courtyards at the bedroom to allow more natural sunlight to come into the house, while also creating a small courtyard at the front of the house, expanding the porch without altering its roofing. The front porch is a very traditional element of the Brazilian farmhouse. At the front yard, we created a small curved bench with a small fireplace area. Then a small blue gate welcomes you to the front porch. The semicircle wall with mesh-like openings creates a large social area that expands the porch without any need for altering or expanding the roof. We brought in a splash of color to this part of the house by painting the accented parts in French blue, inspired by traditional Brazilian farmhouses. The living room connects the porch and the kitchen into an indoor and outdoor social area. I like to use locally sourced furniture pieces and decor instead of having everything built in in order to allow for more flexibility and variety as the owner's needs change throughout the years. Instead of a TV, we increase the size of the window to open it up to the beautiful views. It also serves as the living room's main focal point. The wooden shades were inspired by traditional Brazilian houses from the colonial era, and we designed the window sill at a seat height, so you could sit by the window and take in the landscape. We kept a small opening where the old entrance door was located for natural lighting and ventilation. A small traditional wooden sideboard marks the beginning of the kitchen area. It has everything you need. There's a small fridge, which we also painted in French blue, a sink, an electric cooktop, and a microwave. The handcrafted white and blue tiles were made by a local artisan, inspired by the shapes of an old floral tile found in the house prior to the renovation. At the end of the kitchen, there's a small courtyard with a door that connects to the back of the property. This courtyard has a sink, which is used for cleaning freshly collected vegetables, as well as gardening materials, in order to avoid bringing in dirt to the inside of the house. In the main bedroom, we also used neutral tones and materials to let the decor and the furniture stand out and to create a more serene atmosphere. There's a door opening to a small courtyard that serves as a reading and relaxation area. The ground in the courtyard was made from a mixture of cement and pebbles to give it an organic look. 
The owners are able to sleep and keep the doors half open for ventilation while still preserving a sense of security and privacy. The second bedroom is used as a guest bedroom. There is a bed, a cupboard and a television for when the grandchildren are staying over. In the bathroom, we used a concrete texture on the walls and floors. We mixed white tiles with the same blue tiles used in the kitchen. By reducing the number of tiles that needed to be custom made, we were able to cut down on costs. We used a floating vanity attached to the wall to free up the floor and to make it feel more airy and spacious. We created a small courtyard with an outdoor shower that brings more natural lighting and ventilation to the bathroom. We chose to use wall-mounted light fixtures in order to bring a more intimate and cozy feeling to the rooms. At the bathroom, we also used wall-mounted light fixtures and also some of the walls at the courtyard. I'm always interested in finding different ways to bring nature into architecture. It was very necessary to take in consideration factors like natural lighting, airflow and shading. And these are now becoming more and more relevant again due to sustainability and energy efficiency concerns. By mixing traditional design aspects with modern ones, we can learn from a time when houses could not depend on artificial systems like cooling, lighting and heating as it is done today. Lindsay, our NTS producer, has a cute little courtyard in her Melbourne apartment. She loves spending her mornings there. In the evenings though, with only a single porch light, her courtyard becomes dark and gloomy. At NTS, we're always looking at ways to maximise small spaces. So the team got together to transform Lindsay's courtyard using some Govi outdoor lights. That way, Lindsay can enjoy her courtyard any time of the day. With Govi outdoor lights, installation is quick and easy. They come with very strong adhesive that can attach on any surface. Just peel and stick. They're durable and waterproof, which is a must with Melbourne's weather. We installed the permanent outdoor lights around the eaves of the roof for a cosy ambience and string lights above the outdoor table so Lindsay can enjoy her dinner there. Lastly, we can't forget about Lindsay's bestie. With the neon rope lights, we traced them around Nachi's doghouse. She's now officially the coolest dog in the neighbourhood. All of the lights can be controlled and customised together in the Govee app. There are heaps of presets, including ones based on popular holidays. It even has a music mode, which reacts to the music you are listening to. Our favourite feature is the Dreamview mode, which syncs lighting effects across all of the lights with a simple tap to give the outdoor space a cohesive look. For more details about these lights and others by Govee, Google Govee Outdoor Lights and transform your small outdoor space. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.